different page templates serve different purposes depending on what you want to do. Like we talked about, a file cabinet page allows you to upload and manage documents from your hard drive or from Dropbox onto your site and organize them into folders. So it's a great place to use to organize common documents in one place. Things, directions for students, forms for parents, whatever you can think of. So let's take a look. Now remember from the start, if you go to new page and you're creating a new page, you can pick your page template when you create a new page. But that's one way. But if you already have a page that you've created and you want to change the template, like for example, I want my important documents, I just created it as a web page and I'd like it to be a file cabinet. Well, anyone guess where we're going? If you guessed more, you guessed right. So more actions, and what do you think? Well, it's a page, so page settings looks good to me. Down at the bottom it says, currently using page template. And remember, this is a place you can allow comments and attachments, just a reminder. Change, and I wanna change this to a file cabinet. Click on file cabinet, click on change, and notice it looks a little different. You can add links, add files, sorry, add links. Once you have folders created, you can move to folders, you can delete, and there's a common place down here. So let's see how we can add files. All you have to do is click add file and just know where the file is. So I'm just going to pick this etiquette file and open it up. Once it uploads, it appears right here. You can also add links. So add a file from the web. So if you had a URL, you could do it here. Um, it's a text to display. So let's say uh, Google. Let's see what happens when we add Google. Paste URL. So let's do www.google.com. And I could have a link description if I want, but I'm going to skip that and click add. Well, let's see what happens when I view and it takes you to that website. So you can add links. So this would be useful, like just say you had important documents for a specific project. You could put in links or you could make a whole page of links and that way it'd be easy for your students or anybody to access it. Maybe you have um, a good website that talks about bullying and you have important documents about bullying and you want it to be a link. And add the link. So there's add file and add link. Now let's talk about organizing things in folders that can be helpful. I added a few more documents so I could show you how you can organize things in folders. If you don't have a folder created, if you click on move to, it'll show you the folders that you have created or gives you the opportunity to do a new folder. Well, I have a bunch of things that have to do with Edmodo. So I'm going to make an Edmodo folder. And notice it's down here below. So I can now check off the things that have to do with Edmodo and watch. Move to, you can either create a new folder or put them in Edmodo. And now they're in the Edmodo folder. Now I can add another folder. And notice, it does not organize the folders in the alphabetical order. It does put them in the order where you created them. So if you want to put things in alphabetical order or you want certain things in an order, think about them before you create the folders. So we have to do some pre-planning. So I could just put this Google link, if I want, into this folder. The one thing that slightly annoys me is these folders are all open. I wish you could collapse them so you wouldn't see all these documents. So that's, it can become a little cumbersome because if you have a lot of documents, people have to scroll all the way down. Um, so that's a little bit of a problem. One of you might say, think to yourself, hmm, what about changing the layout? So you could have a couple columns and have the links down there and the folders down there. It doesn't work that way because these are at the bottom underneath your actual content area. So I'll show you if I go to edit page, you'll see here's the body of the content and these are all down here like attachments. So it's just something to think about in terms of your organization and how many documents you want because you can have as many as you want but you have to scroll down and they go in the order of the folder how you created it. 
One thing you can do once you have a bunch of documents uploaded, whether they're in a page like this page where they're in a file cabinet page or you just have a document uploaded to your home page. Once again, that manage documents, if you go to more and manage site and you want to manage your attachments and you go to attachments, you can also move these pages from the documents from different pages. And like I said, look, the Google's here, the Edmodo's there, you can view them, you can download them. But just say for some reason I decided I want this Edmodo to-do list and for some reason I want to move it to my homework page. So I can click on homework page and click move and watch what happens when I go to practice again. I go to homework page and look what's there, Edmodo to-do list. Now let's look back at important documents to see if it's gone. See, it is now gone. So it's not in two places. If I wanted it in two different places, I would have to upload it to that specific page. So that's a way of moving things around. Another thing in attachments, which I'm not sure I showed you, but while we're here, I will just show you and make sure. When you're in attachments, you can also upload things in general to your folder so they're there later for you to put them in different places. Uh, one other thing about file cabinet pages, just so you know, when you're actually on a page, <clears throat> if viewers on a page and they want to check out the page, view it, they can view it, or they can download it simply by clicking on the links. Same thing if it's a link to a website. Notice you only have view, you don't have download because you're down downloading a website. You're just going to let them view it. 